Hey, Second Harvest Food Bank of Central Florida. We are live today in Volusia County here in Ormond Beach at the Calvary Christian Center where our partners, the Daytona Dream Center, are running a large mobile food drop. We've um, got about 500 cars in the line today, double stacked, as you can see, um, picking up all sorts of perishable, non-perishable items, um, things to help restock their pantry. Um, and we're joined here with Pastor Jamie, is that right? Yep. Um, with the Daytona Dream Center, and he's gonna share a little bit about what they're doing here today, and it's a special day for them. Why don't you start with that? Um, this is our 11th food drop since COVID-19 has hit. Uh, today is extra special because we're honoring this, we're doing this food job in honor of Mary Thomas, who used to run our food bank here at Calvary Christian Center, served for many, many years in outreach all throughout Daytona Beach and the area uh, outreaches. Um, so it's a very special day. We're honoring her. We're doing this. She, her dream was always to do a food job here. Um, so we know she's looking down from heaven at us as we're serving uh, the community with love. Um, but this is an awesome food drop. Like I said, this is our 11th. Uh, we're so thankful for Second Harvest for joining forces with us to just to really make this food available to us. We've gone all over Volusia County. We're seeing that there's so many families still in need. Many households, not both parents, are going back to work. Uh, a lot of families are, you know, home with their with their children. Uncertainty with the schools. Uh, we're getting a lot of feedback to all of our food drops. They're just very grateful. Um, they really need the food, so we're so grateful for Second Harvest uh, for providing the food and partnering with us and allowing us to serve our, our community. Yeah, um, talk a little bit. You've done 11 of these food drops. What what have people said when they've come through the line? What are some of the things you've heard? We've had, um, we've had our last food drop, a, a lady specifically said, um, after paying her bills, her mortgage, her car payment, um, that this was right on time. It was going to buy her another week, a uh, week or two. Uh, to get through um, the food insecurity that they had. Um, a lot of families just are in need, so so great of a need, and they're so grateful. We're seeing so many cars and all of the food jobs, so grateful for se to Second Harvest, grateful for us to, as well to help, um, and just really um, having their backs in the time of need. Um, just great feedback all around. Yeah, um, well we really, we thank you. We thank you for your partnership and, and we couldn't do this without you and your volunteers. They're awesome, they're really enthusiastic. They're, um, they've just got great, you can see the smiles through the masks. That's yeah. that's what I'm that's what I'm saying here <laughs> the today. The eyes are smiling. Yeah, the eyes are smiling, smile with your eyes. Thank um, you so <laughs> thanks for that. I'm gonna take a walk um, just so people can see what kind of food is going out the door um, and just thank you for your partnership and support. Right, thank so. you. Um, so we, I see the question below, when do we come to Osceola? Um, we do move around, we're in different places every day. Um, if you wanna send us a private message on Facebook, we can connect you with one that's close to you so that you don't have to drive all over town to find a distribution. Um, we also have a pantry food finder um, on our website at feedhopenow.org um, slash need. Um, you can find um, the pantry food finder um, a lot of our food pantries have moved to this contactless way of distribution. So you drive through there with your car, just like you would here. Um, and you search that by your address or your zip code so that you can pick up something that's close to you. Um, and they distribute at all different times of the day and days of the week. Um, so here, um, we're gonna walk kind of through the line a little bit. So behind me, um, the first couple stations had beans um, and cherries, and dried cherries and tomatoes, canned tomatoes. But then what's in these really cool boxes um, right here, um, these are our no-touch produce boxes. They come from a local grower um, in Point City. He's processing these for us. Um, and inside are all sorts of uh, fresh fruits and vegetables um, that you need to cook some nutritious meals. Um, in this box today, there are zucchini and sweet potatoes and onions, just some great staple produce, as well as um, some no some apples and pears and oranges. So some great um, hand fruit there as well. Um, so these boxes get packed at the grower um, distribution packing plant. Um, he sends them to us at the warehouse. We get them out here into the community and into the trunk and through that whole process, and nobody's had to touch that fruit. Um, so it's a really great contactless way um, that we're getting food out into the community, food that people desperately need. Um, here they're packing up some egg, uh, egg, liquid eggs um, for some cooking that's gonna happen, some great uh, egg scrambles in the future. Um, here we've got some fish fillets. Moving down the line, we're in the protein section, if you will, of the mobile drop now. Um, they've got cheese and chicken, 
Um, and then all the way down at the end, we've got cereal um, and our COVID relief boxes. These have been packed um, in our warehouse. Um, if you've been a volunteer in our warehouse this summer, you've probably been part of that packing effort. Um, and inside each of those boxes are just some really awesome shelf stable products, things that'll help you get right back on your feet. So we're walking by mandarin oranges now and some split peas. Um, and all the way at the end of the line. So the, the COVID relief boxes um, are just a way to get your pantry restocked and reset um, and ready to start over. Um, in each box, we've got a variety of things, um, rice, beans, canned beef stew, vegetables, shelf stable milk, cereal, um, like I said, just all the basics and all the things that you're going to need to restart your pantry. Um, so if you, you want to make more events like this possible um, for people in our community, there's a bunch of different ways that you can get involved. We've got them all listed on our website at feedhopenow.org. That's feedhopenow.org. Um, you'll find ways to give, um, whether that's financially, and one one dollar can provide four meals to a neighbor in need here in Volusia County or wherever you live. Um, we do serve six counties in Central Florida, Orange, Osceola, Brevard, Lake, Seminole, and Volusia. Um, and your donations stay local. They all stay here um, to help your neighbors um, in Central Florida and in the county you live. Um, you, so beyond the financial donations, uh, you could donate your time and volunteer. We're currently booking volunteer shifts in September and October, unless there's a last minute cancellation, those do happen. So please check our calendar often for those opportunities. Um, that's feedhopenow.org slash volunteer. Um, and we also are starting virtual food drives. As people head back to school, um, as people start thinking ahead to the holidays, um, virtual food drives are a great way to give back um, and rally support for our neighbors in need. Um, you can find that also at feedhopenow.org slash virtual food drive. And a virtual food drive is like a traditional food drive, except you don't have the collection bin um, in your office or in your classroom or at your church. Um, what you do is it's all online and you have a virtual shopping cart um, that represents some of the types of food that we're able to provide with your donations. Um, and it's a fun way for friends, family, coworkers, church groups, fraternities, sororities, um, all sorts of groups um, have taken advantage of the virtual food drive during the pandemic because it's a really nice way to stay in touch with each other. Um, and work together to solve hunger. Um, so like I said, we're here today in Ormond Beach. Um, we do mobile drops like this three times a day. Six, six, we're distributing six days a week um, to the tune of 300,000 meals a day. That's, that's a lot of food. Um, and it's, it's a lot of people that need it. So the, the need is persistent. I get the question a lot, um, is the need decreasing? Um, the need is pressing on. We have new people on our website every day searching for food assistance for the first time. You may think that by now everyone's figured out what they're doing, but some people are just now um, figuring out that they've hit, hit the bottom and they need help. Um, and we're here for them in those moments. Um, we're here for them with our 550 feeding partner network. It's a strong network of organizations, nonprofits, churches, individuals who want to make sure that everybody has something on the on their plate today um, that everybody everybody eats um, so beyond the feeding partner network um, we do have a new program called bring hope home they are a home delivery option for people who aren't able to come out to a food drive they're physically um, they're physically disabled they don't have transportation they um, have a are sick um, or homebound um, this is a great resource for them called Bring Hope Home and that information's on our website as well. There's a, a short phone screen that takes place um, and then we get you set up with the distribution schedule. Um, we've also launched a Benefits Connection hotline to help people who are trying to access SNAP, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program or food stamps. Um, you can call that number if you're in any of our six counties um, and they will help you navigate the application process for food stamps so that you can go back to your local supermarket and access food, um, food yourself. For every meal that SNAP puts out into the community, 
um, or for every meal the food bank puts on the community, SNAP can provide nine meals. So um, we're doing a tremendous heavy lift here with partners like the Daytona Dream Center, but we can do so much more um, through programs like SNAP. Um, so I would encourage you to take a look at that if, if you're in need. Um, and we're here for you. So send us a message, um, give us a call, let us know how we can help. We're here to help. We care for you. We care for our community. And together we're making a difference. Thank you.